Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we are working in Grade 5 on Module 2, Lesson 2. And tonight we are estimating multi-digit products by rounding factors to a basic fact and using place value patterns. So this is one of those lessons that will strike some mathematicians very poorly because they will want to come up with the correct, exact, precise answer. And that's not the exercise we're doing tonight. Tonight we are just doing estimates. Um, and I'll convince you in class that doing, being able to do a good estimate quickly is an extraordinarily helpful tool for a strong mathematician to have in their tool belt. Partly because sometimes when we get down in the weeds and we're trying to do a really precise calculation, something goes wrong and we don't really notice it. And if we can do a quick estimate, we'll have an idea of whether our answer is reasonable and we'll have a sense that we may have made a mistake in our specific calculations and be able to catch it and go back. So today we'll do the estimation parts. Let's take a look at three problems tonight. Problem number one, the directions are as follows. Round the factors to estimate the products. I'm going to do the most difficult of those three, which is 1C. And we're given the specific question of 8,840 times 45. And we said, well, what is that roughly? Let's see. Well, 8,840 is very close to 9,000. So let's see. We would round it to the thousands definitely up, right? So 9,000. And then 45, which is right in between right, right in between 40 and 50, so I'm not sure that that rounds so well, so we'll just leave that as 45 and say what that estimate is. So let's see, 9,000 times 45, well let's just go ahead and do the 45 times 9 part of that on the side here, see what we come up with. Let's see, 9 times 5 ones is 45 ones, we would record that as 5 ones and 4 tens, and then we'd multiply 9 times 4 tens, that would give us 36 tens plus 4 more would be 36, 40 tens, 40 tens, and that's how we'd write 40 tens. So we would write this as the same as 405 times, let's see, what were those? Oh, those are thousands, right? 45 times 9 times 1,000, so we'll go 405,000. Ooh, and see, look at that. I did the estimation, and I didn't even write it correctly. 405,000. That's a reasonable estimate. Awesome. That'll get us through 1C. On the other problems here, you'll be able to see what numbers are these close to, right? Um, this is, this is. I'm going to give you a little bit of hint. I'll give you part of this problem. 697 is very close to just 700. And then I'll let you go ahead and estimate the 82 to figure out what the two estimated factors are. And then go ahead and, and do your multiplication. Let's take a look at problem number two. Problem number two has different directions. Complete the table using your understanding of place value and knowledge of rounding to estimate the product. Okay, well, let's see. So let's look at their example. Their example in 3A is, well, 3,409 times 73. This number would estimate to the nearest thousands would be about 3,000, and I see that's what they've written here. And this number right here, 73, if we rounded that to the nearest 10, would be 70. Okay, and then they went ahead and did that multiplication, which is just 7 times, uh, I'm sorry, 3 times 7, or 21. And then how many tens do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ah, two, I'm sorry, 210,000. So 21 ten thousands, basically. 21, zero, 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 zero. Okay, let's see if we can do the same for 2C. Let's say we've got 9,832. Let's see, we're going to round that, let's see, to the nearest thousand. Let's see, is that closer to 9,000 or 10,000? No, we definitely round up. So I'm going to say that that's about 10,000 times, let's see, 39. We're going to round to the nearest 10. Let's see, it's either 30 or 40. No, it's only one away from 40. So I'm going to say that that's the same as... 40. It's roughly 40. So let's see, 10,000 times 40, we can think of this as 10,000 times 10 times 4. So we know we're going to have 4 at the beginning, and then let's see, how many 10s do we have in there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 10s. Let me write that out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 10s. We'll add our comma there, and we have our reasonable estimate. That this number right here, 9,832, is about 10,000. 39 is about 40. And if we took our two products here, 10,000 times 40, we would get 400,000. Awesome. Let's take a look at one more problem tonight. Number four has different directions. Still, fill in the blank with the missing estimate. Oh, okay. And so here we'll get an idea of whether we've picked uh, the right uh, factors here. Let's see. So 627. Let's see. So let's round that to the nearest 100. I'm thinking, let's see, 627. It's only 27 above 600 much closer to 600 than 700, so I think that that would be 600. And let's see, 674, oh, that's just, that's either going to be 600 or 700, but this time I think it's much closer to 700, right? We're just 26 away from 700. 
700. Now let's see, did, this, did that work out? Is this, uh, are these two estimated products the same? Uh, do they multiply out to give us uh, a result? Let's see, 6 times 7 is 42. Okay, I see the 42 there, that's great. And how many tens do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Ha ha! Voila! Looks like we've got it. Six, these two numbers are about the same as 600 times 700, and that's about the same as, or well, this is exactly 420,000. So this gives us a pretty good estimate of what our original product was. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Take care.